HuntingClub.com, the official site of the North American Hunting Club. Finally got this bow set up, got all the accessories and components on it. As much as I'd like to hit the range right now and start shooting some arrows, there's a few, few things we got to do, including cutting the arrows to the right length. So explain a little bit about what you're looking for in terms of cutting the arrows so that they, they match my bow and my draw length and everything else. Okay, what we've got right now is we've, we've put on a measuring arrow and it's got increments on there of length so that once you draw back that I can see where the length that I want to cut it at. Um, I don't have to put a tape measure or anything on, so it's kind of nice to have. Uh, a lot of times what you could do, if you don't have something like this, you can have someone stand next to you with a marker so you can draw back your arrow and they can just take and make the mark on it and then you can draw down and then go and cut it after that. So what I'm going to have you do right now, Josh, is go ahead and what we do is we've got a safety release here for you. Okay. Uh, a lot of times we like that because as you pull back, sometimes you're kind of more worried about what I'm doing and measuring and people have been known to accidentally hit the trigger, so it's kind of nice we don't have to worry about that. So go ahead and draw back and I'll, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so you'll get back to your anchor point. So what we're going to do now is right, I'm going to set it to the front of your horizon. I'll explain in a second why. That's 29 inches. And so go ahead and draw down and I'll explain one of the reasons why we have a tendency to keep it a little bit longer than maybe some what, what happens if, if you look on the front of the, the bow here, if you cut the arrow too short and w weren't really paying attention, you could draw back and if you're shooting a fixed broadhead, you have your, your wingspan to your blades out there and depending on how big they are, you might accidentally hit your riser as you draw back. So gotcha. if you do that you draw back, it's going to hit that and it'll actually pop your arrow off. Uh, the other thing is, is we've set the timing of the rest to the proper uh, sequence as far as how long we want it to stay up, but what happens you want at least an inch in front of that riser, so maybe if you're shooting a different type of a rest, you want it at least an inch in front of the, where it sits on the rest, because otherwise it can have a tendency to springboard off that rest. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, we cut them up to the front of the riser, also some guys will have a tendency if they're shooting a fixed broadhead or even expandable, they like to put their finger up there, kind of with the old rule. Everybody had to keep their finger on there. So by cutting it up to the front of the riser, which is 29 inches, we eliminate a lot of the safety problems that might happen. Gotcha. So um, again, if, if you don't have a measuring arrow, all I would have had to do is just take a mark and just mark it. And now we can go up and cut your arrows and get you shooting. All right, so I've got some Carbon Express Maximas sitting upstairs. And uh, so we'll get those babies cut. Good. Sounds good. <laughs>